Are you tired of sleeping through your alarm every morning and having very little time to do your hair? Well, now you don't have to worry about that. You can get rid of this simple old ponytail and do your hair with a braid. This might not relate to the boys as much, but you guys will appreciate how much time a girl spends on her hair just for you. Ladies, this will be beneficial, especially with prom right around the corner. There are dozens of types of braids out there. The most common is just the plain old simple three-strand braid. According to an article called Braids 101 by Tara Lamont Tajit, other types of braids include the fishtail, the four or five strand braid, the Dutch braid, and the waterfall braid. In an article written by Home Natural Home Remedies, a braid takes a lot of effort. So reading instructions on how to do it helps before you start the braid. Next, you need to know the materials needed to complete a French braid. The materials you use are very few and simple. You would need a hairbrush or a comb, hair ties to secure the braid at the end, body pins to hold any extra hair, and hairspray to hold back flyaways. Most girls use these daily without even realizing it. The French braid is the basis of all other braids. Every braid is based off the French braid. The French braid is just simply a three-strand plate that adds hair, adds pieces of hair as you continue down the head. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do my favorite braid, which is, of course, the French braid. In an article written by Seventeen Magazine, it states that the braids absorb better on medium to long length hair, and my model has long hair. To start the braid, it works on damp hair, but this will work just as fine. To start the braid, you stop, start at the top of the head and pull all the hair back. Make sure you, the hair is combed all the way. Getting rid of all the knots and tangles. Once all the knots and tangles are out, you start with the section at the top of the hair. You leave your head back. You split the hair into three pieces. There's many ways to start the braid, and it doesn't matter which piece on the side you move over first, but I'll start with the left. You take the left piece and you move it over top of the middle. Once you take the middle, you pull it to that side, and then you take the right piece and you pull it over top of the center. As you continue down the hair, you just pull the side pieces over top of the middle, grabbing more pieces as you go along the hair. The hair will be bumpy and you can smooth it down with your fingers or a comb. I like to use my fingers because the comb gets in the way. Once you continue down the head, you pull the hair tight so bumps do not continue to form. Continue on the opposite side, just grab more hair and add to the top piece, smoothing out all the bumps again. Then you take the center piece and you pull the side over top to center, just like you started. As you continue, you just keep adding pieces of the hair from the sides to the top braid. All the way down the side, all the way down the braid, you just keep adding side pieces, smoothing out the sides, and pulling the opposite side, side piece over the center, adding more hair. As you pull the side pieces over, hair gets tangled in the bottom, but you can just brush it out with your fingers. So later on, when you add that hair in, it doesn't add more tangles. Continue to pull all the pieces tight, adding in more hair. Once you get towards the bottom of the head, you have to make sure you tighten the hair so you don't have pieces hanging off the sides of your head. Throughout the braid, if the hair continues to get knotty, you can always pause holding all your pieces and continue to brush the rest of it out. But for the sake of the speech, I'll just continue to use my fingers. As you get towards the bottom, this is the hardest part of the braid because you have to make sure it's tight or else you'll have a few bumps. Make sure you pull it tight.
as you pull it tight, these bumps on the sides go away. And then you can just continue to braid the rest as a three strand braid, pulling all the sides over the middle, alternating. Once you get to the bottom of the braid, you can secure it with a hair tie or a rubber band elastic. Depending on the thickness of the hair will depend on which elastic you choose. Because my model has very thick hair, I will use a thick elastic. Once you complete the braid, this is when you use your bobby pins or hairspray. You can take the bobby pins and add them in wherever you have loose hairs. It works better when bobby pins are the same color as the hair. Once you add the bobby pins in, you can then use the hairspray. It's very bad, any loose pieces. To bring this speech to conclusion, I just showed you how to do the classic French braid. I hope you learned how to do, I hope you enjoyed learning how to do this type of braid and continue to learn other braids. Hopefully this has inspired you to learn to braid hair especially with prom right around the corner. Thank you.